Yes, the final season. It's um, it's hard to to think of it as actually ending, but it's an amazing way to go out. I mean, no no show gets to sort of go out in their own terms, and with such strong performances, I really feel like everyone has hit their stride. I mean, I'm standing next to Manu Bennett. I've seen some of his work this season, and it's it's incredible. You know, like it truly it's moving. I know it's wrong being in a suit, being in a suit at this thing. At the, I don't know what I know. <laughs> what is beneath your pants? Um, yeah, no, this is uh, yeah, it's weird wearing pants, but um, yeah, no, this is a, this is a phenomenal show this year. This is they've really pulled out all the stops from from the very like from the smallest parts of the show to the biggest parts of the show. They've just gone all out. How would you describe Spartacus' journey this season compared to last season? Yeah, you know what I love about Stephen the Knight's writing is that he denotes you know clear parts of Spartacus' journey. You know, with Andy Whitfield, he so brilliantly portrayed this guy that was trapped, you know, t taken from freedom, had his happiness taken away from him, and he's desperately trying to reclaim it under under this oppression. And then uh, in the second, you know, in Vengeance rather, you know, we're, we're left in this place of, of where Spartacus has to work out what he wants from the world. Does he want this leadership that's being thrust upon him? You know, so it's all these questions, you know, and, and then in War of the Dam, that's all gone. He's a determined man. He's trying to shut the emotions down so that he can lead his people. He's sort of given up on being happy himself. He sort of sees that's not going to be happening. But he is going to do everything, give his life, do whatever it takes to get his people free. And that's, uh, he's an extremely powerful and, uh, person and a force to be reckoned with that Rome takes notice of in the form of Crassus and Caesar in a brilliant way. It's pretty cool. Speaking of Crassus, he is a pretty magnificent opponent. Well, I know, but that's the thing. I mean, the, the pairing of Crassus and Caesar is amazing, not only because it pre it's a precursor to what happens later in their story in, in the history of Rome, but just because there's so, such a perfect balance between a guy who has this incredible name in Julius Caesar and Crassus who has all the money, you know, the, the most money in Rome. and they, 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 So they're the perfect combination. And i got to say, this season they are played excellently by Simon Merrill's plays Crassus and Todd Lassant's plays Caesar. And they are just electric. Like, it's, it's, it's embarrassing. It, they're so good. It, that, that, to me, is going to be a standout thing this season. You, it's going to rock your world. And if you had one word to describe this season, what would it be? Redonkulous. Um, no, it's, it's huge. It's just huge. It's impossible. And it's heartbreaking.